So this little Tao guy got a story here. I was hanging out in my friend Fiverr's stream and they were putting together some Tao that they had picked up and they had this uh, busted up broadside battle suit and I said, uh, yeah, you're gonna want to pin those rail guns onto the battle suit because if you don't pin the rail guns they're never gonna stay glued on with just super glue. And they said, I don't know how to pin things. So I said, well, if you mail it to me, I'll pin it for you. And they did. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be doing today. <laughs> Alright, so, in order to pin stuff, there's a few things you will need. First of all, paperclip. I have unfolded this one from its original paperclip shape, but I assure you, it was a paperclip. It is also one that unfortunately has a kind of plastic coating on it, but I think that'll be okay. Uh, typically I do prefer ones that are just plain metal, but I bought 200 of these and from the dollar store, so it'll have to do. It's gotta be used for something. Super glue. Very important. Good old cyanoacrylate. Baking soda. That's for later. And the all important bin vise. So this thing is basically a little hand drill. It's got a chuck at one end, and you put a drill bit in there. And if you are doing this correctly, you will have a drill bit that is roughly the same size as the, uh, the pin you're going to put into it. Uh, my particular pin vise has this little bit at the end here that rotates, and so you can hold it in hand and either rotate it like that, or you can kind of, you know, rotate your entire wrist to turn it if you've got that, if you're holding that firmly enough. Metal, typically, is a little bit harder to drill than plastic, but the principle is basically the same no matter what you're doing. Line up the piece, you can see that I've got in between there and there, thereabouts of actual space where this will connect. So we don't, we want to put one of our holes probably about there. So you hold the drill, push that back bit up against your palm and rotate and you can see I've drilled in there yeah, maybe a uh, maybe half a centimeter comes down to about there yeah that's probably plenty of pin considering I'm gonna do two of those and the other one I'm gonna place that a little bit forward <laughs> I'm just going to mention here, I did decide to use two pins on these because the guns are pretty large and unwieldy and I wanted to make sure that they would stay in place. You might be able to get away with one, didn't want to risk it. To cut the paperclip pins, you need a pair of cutters. You don't need expensive cutters, these ones were $4 from the dollar store, but you should not use sprue cutters. Get something a little sturdier. You will ruin sprue cutters if you use them on paper clips. Plus, these ones help a lot at effectively measuring what length of paper clip I need to cut. If I cut it too long, there'll be a gap, and that's no bueno. Now that you got the holes drilled and the pin cut to size, it's time for the super glue and baking soda reaction I mentioned earlier. Super glue is fast cured by baking soda. Now, I always used to think that this was just a matter of giving the glue a little bit more surface area to adhere to, and to be fair, that probably does help, but I was curious if there was a little bit more to it. So it's a pretty good thing that I happen to know a PhD chemist. What is super glue? Super glue is called CA glue because it's made up almost entirely of cyanoacrylate. So this is ethyl 2 cyanoacrylate. Now this is a liquid, but it has the potential to polymerize with itself to make bigger and bigger polymers that eventually become a solid. Right, super glue polymerizes, or turns into a plastic, when it cures. But what does baking soda have to do with this? That reaction doesn't happen until it's initiated by a nucleophile. Nucleophiles are electron pair donators, they are Lewis bases, and they essentially attack this molecule 
to initiate that polymerization. All right, I think I see where this is going. Now, you may be asking yourself, Brent, what's a nucleophile? Well, water's a nucleophile. The hydroxide in water is an even better nucleophile. Nucleophiles are the main ingredient in superglue activator. And nucleophiles are present in your fingertips. Nucleophiles are uh, present in the nitrogenous compounds in your fingertips as well as moisture. So don't get super glue on your fingers. Or have superior skeleton hands. I knew these were good for something. Now I've also seen claims from accelerant companies that using baking soda releases fumes, but if it's the same reaction, accelerant would cause those too. It is the same, right? Close enough. Don't huff glue, got it. So the baking soda is donating an electron to the cause and kickstarting the glue's curing. The leftover solids that aren't reacted act as filler. Bottom line, your mini gets stuck together faster. Yeah, I mean, basically. Okay, so it shouldn't be more dangerous than working with the glue normally. This is an exothermic reaction, so it produces heat, and if I remember my chemistry basics, it'll kick off some extra because it's happening faster. Uh, won't be enough to melt plastic though, right Brent? Brent? Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. So now you see we got a couple of little pins sticking out of this piece. Now I'm gonna want that to attach about there. Then I'll push down with the pins to make a little mark. When I know where I want to drill, grab the pin vise, rinse, and repeat. Alright. So, same deal as before. First of all, test fit. Make sure you got your holes in the right place. I do. Little bit of glue on the pinholes. Little bit of glue onto the pins. Dunk that. And a little bit of baking soda. Take that sucker and you shove them down together. And just hold them together for a second and uh, That's not coming apart anytime soon. And now, before we get into looking at the finished and repaired model that I'm sending back to Fiverr, a last couple of quick tips. Make sure you're pressing the pin vise down hard enough for the drill bit to bite, but not hard enough to break your bit. The bit should be doing most of the work for you, that's what it's for. Sometimes the tip of the drill bit will become clogged with material. You can usually remove this with your fingers, but do be careful. Don't drill your hand. Always be test fitting. If the holes you've drilled for your pins are too shallow, you will have a bad time. That's it for the pinning lesson. Hope you guys have learned something, or if you already knew how to do this, that I was at least entertaining along the way. I did have to make this mini an extra arm before I sent it back. It was missing its original one, and I did a few other minor little repairs as well, and gave it a base because it didn't have one. So as I'm kind of working through those last few things here and showing off a few shots of the, uh, the model in the state it was when I mailed it back to Fiverr, who told me I could totally name it, by the way. I picked Barrett, for what should be obvious reasons. Anyways, with that, that's it for me. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. I've been Destro, you've been great. I'll see you next time.